So recently I've been looking at some YouTube videos of people making ecospheres and I've got this garden pond with lots of life inside of it. So I've decided that it'll be a cool little experiment to make an ecosphere out of things gathered from my garden pond. This involved getting into the pond. And then I started gathering some dirt and plant matter from the bottom of the pond. By doing this I will have collected lots of insects and other invertebrates. And as you can see here, I've got a big bucket of water with lots of dirt inside of it. There's also a wild lily pad there and some duckweed. And as you can see on the lily pad there's actually some snail eggs so we can expect some snails in the future. I then added a layer of carbon to the bottom for filtration. Capped that off with a layer of stones just to stop the carbon floating. And then began to add the dirt and decomposing plant matter that I'd gathered from the pond. Filled it up with water. And then added the wild lily into the corner. I've also got this piece of driftwood which I was using in my aquarium for my previous aquascape but now that I've changed the aquascape it's no longer needed so I thought it might be cool to put in this ecosphere. And I've also left a bit of it poking out the top in case any non-aquatic insects need a place to rest. I gathered this Sagittaria subulata from my aquarium. It shoots off runners quite quickly so I'm hoping that if I plant it in here with just one piece Hopefully in a few months time we'll have quite a lot of it. Duckweed just going in the top. That'll spread like mad hopefully. And then I shut the lid for what I thought would be the last time. But I was sat editing this video, just waiting for the dust to settle, and I had it on my windowsill, and I looked over, and I could see a fish swimming around. So we've got an ecosphere with a fish in it. Now, I don't think this fish would survive very well in an ecosphere, and even if it did survive, it'd probably eat everything else that's in there. Stickleback are quite predatory fish, so... It would either die straight away, or if it did survive, it would be eating everything else in there. So, I managed to fish it out with a net. And it's going to go back in the pond. When I put it in, it did kind of float a little bit. But after a few seconds, it managed to swim away. So now, here we have it. On the 2nd of May 2019, the lid was shut for the very last time. In the morning after the dust had settled, I had a quick look for some forms of life 